Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Mysteries and Disappearances video. Alright, let's go ahead and let's do another entry here for this series. This will actually be the last one for this go around, and then I'll give this a brief rest and then start focusing on some other videos from some of my other subjects. So thank you so much everyone for your suggestions this go around. This one actually was a suggestion that was given over a year ago. So it goes to show that if you've suggested something and I haven't talked about it just yet, it doesn't mean I'm not going to. I love going back to some of the past videos and then checking out those suggestions again and making sure that I might have not missed something out there, something that's interesting, such as this example here. This one actually has to do also with not just one disappearance, but a multitude of them, over a hundred disappearances all in one, and it's tied to a famous fable all at once. So a lot of mystery associated with it, a lot of reality also as well, because apparently this thing really did occur, and it has to do with this. It's the missing 130 children, for the disappearance of them from a town called Hamlin, Germany, and then the fable of the Pied Piper that's associated with them. So let's go ahead and let's talk about all that fascinating info here, including the theories as to what truly occurred. So with regards to this fable, it's one of those things where I've heard about it. I've never really read the story in detail, but just through everyone else knowing about it, I've come across the info. So as a brief recursor um, with regards to this fable, it's one of those stories, almost like a warning to children that something bad will happen to them if they don't follow certain rules or if they don't take care of themselves, mind their parents, that kind of stuff. So in this tale, there was a Pied Piper that apparently came to a town that was infested with rats. And the fable continues by stating that this Pied Piper was going to offer his services. He would get rid of those rats using some kind of pipe and some music uh, that was associated with it. And he did indeed get rid of those rats. And so when he came back to the town ready to collect the payments, the town decided to stiff him. And he, of course, was not happy about that. So a little bit later, he decided to use that very same pipe, the one he used to earlier got, you know, get rid of the rats from. He decided to use them to steal all the town's children. And it ended up totaling about 130 children or so. And that town was Hamelin, Germany. So where these children went, who knows? But that's at least the fable side of it. Now, as far as the occurrences and uh, the real life events, apparently that truly did happen. Somewhere around 1284 or so, there was an event that occurred there in Hamelin, Germany, involving the disappearance, the total disappearance of the town's children. Something occurred there that um, it's been documented, and I'll show some of the examples here, that a lot of the children, if not all of them, ended up just being gone. There's a mystery associated with what occurred to this day, but still, the evidence showcases that it truly did happen. So in fact, this, for example, showcases a listing of some of the children, something that was printed that showcases their names and the dates, um, I guess the page numbers, whatever that is associated with them. And the oldest record that points to this as well apparently occurred in 1384, so about a 100 years or so after the actual date there was a church that contained something like it was as far as um, some kind of inscription or something from the church glass that showcased uh, the, uh, something stating that it's been a hundred years since our children left so that right there showcases that there truly was at least within the church an indication that something did occur to the children themselves there's also a street that is associated there in that location of Hamlin Germany it's a unique name it's known as Bungo Losenstrasse. Um, it's a long name, but that's essentially what it states. But it's a town, I mean, I'm sorry, it's a street within that town where if you go there to this day, there are certain unwritten rules where no one is allowed to play any kind of music or dance on the street to this day. You're looking at, in fact, the street itself. I found that so fascinating because imagine you read about this fable. I didn't read about it, but I've heard about it, but others have actually read about it itself. And you hear about it, you, you wonder if this stuff is truly real, and then you go to the actual location and you'll see it there. That's the actual town itself. Um, another indication was 
The Brothers Grimm by Jacob and Wilhelm, they included it within one of their fairy tales, also referencing that church, which by the way was the name of the Church of Hamlin, and that glass that was located within it. They also referenced that particular aspect, whatever occurred with the children there. And then there's been other things uh, showcasing that. It's just passing of tales, generation to generation, people that live there, uh, stating one uh, parent to another about what happened with these children. And the idea is that something truly did cause them to disappear. And as far as the theories as to what occurred, this Pied Piper theory actually is more of a metaphor. And here's what I mean on that part. Now, the idea of there actually being a person with a magical flute that caused these children to um, to disappear with him as as he was waltzing them away that seems to be more of something that was added afterward after the years in fact the idea of the rats that were tied to the fable that i was mentioning earlier was apparently also added afterward instead the pied piper and the rats themselves all are more of a metaphor and here's what i mean um, apparently during that time there was a set of plagues the bubonic plague or the black death plague that were occurring during that time and when that happened children were impacted adults were impacted as well if you go by that theory then the notion is these children disappeared because they died because of the black plague or in a more you know, unfortunate manner, they were killed by their parents to prevent other people from catching the plague themselves. The only problem, though, with that theory is that the plague itself apparently occurred almost a hundred years after the disappearance of these children. So if you wanted to go by that particular notion, you're going to have to kind of stretch that time period as well, because all of this apparently happened in the mid 1300s as far as the plague. And if you remember earlier, I was stating that the disappearance of the children occurred back in 1284. But still, people state that that was in and around the same time period. And that's where the Black Plague plague equals the Pied Piper and that caused the disappearance. The other theory and something else just completely different is that the children actually ran away on their own. They left. Something caused them either some kind of revolution, some mindset, something that caused them to all in unison run away and decide to create their own colony or village. And that's essentially what the Pied Piper was as a metaphor. Maybe it was something that was like a soothing sound of music, something that was just very high end when it comes to a goal. Like they wanted to go out there and do their own thing. And, and that's where they created their own colony village. How they did that, I don't know. Uh, you would imagine that if 100 plus children, all of them having parents, and then all of them all deciding to leave at once, that would take a lot of coordination and not make the parents aware of what was happening. But some people go with that theory, and that's where that notion is as far as them disappearing all at once. And then another one, which is more reality-based, happens to be this, that this Pied Piper actually did exist, but he wasn't this merry version that was singing a flute and, you know, trying to get the kids away f using that. Instead, he was more on the lines of some kind of pedophile, someone that was slowly walking throughout the various night parts of the night, various parts of the town, and then stealing the children left and right while they slept. So that's something else as far as another theory, but it's more reality-based because we do hear that uh, during these, even today, uh, like during these times, you'll read stories every now and then of that happening uh, to some poor children out there. But then another theory is this, that there was actually a children's crusade that caused these children to all leave at once. So remember earlier I was mentioning that the children all left on their own, that they made some plan, they did something, and then that's when they left. Well, if you add to that theory this notion, it's that fact that they all decided to do some kind of crusade, something where it was some boy or someone else having visions of Jesus telling them that they wanted that they needed to 
get others and then that way they can convert certain people over to Christianity. In this case, it was the idea of Muslims to Christianity and other children joined in on this and it all became in, in actuality some form of crusade and it happened all at once. It caused all these children to just disappear and where they went, eventually they ended up making their own town elsewhere and then that's where the 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 story of this Pied Piper and other stuff eventually was added afterward. Again, more along the long lines of a stretch because you would have to take into account all these children doing all of this at once without any kind of parents' knowledge or anything else like that. Who knows? Maybe they were far more independent back then as children, but it's hard to fathom something like that happening today. But those are at least some of the main theories associated with the, the set of disappearances. The actuality is it did happen. Uh, the several documented stuff that I just mentioned earlier noted that, that, that there was indeed over 100 children that ended up going missing from that town all at once. And still to this day, it's debated what truly occurred, but it has become this famous fable from it. So what do you guys think? Anyone else have any more information? Anything else I might have missed? Was the Pied Piper truly a real person? Was he someone that stole these children by themselves? Was it more of a metaphor? Was it something involving the bubonic plague, the Black Death that I was mentioning earlier as well? I'm going more towards that theory because... It's more realistic. Um, the idea that these rats that carried this bubonic plague, it wasn't actually the rats. It was apparently the fleas that were attached to them. Anyone who has had fleas in their home knows just how uh, horrible these things are. Like these fleas, once you get them in your home, it becomes almost a battle of, of multiple wars to get rid of them. So imagine these tiny little fleas being carried by these rats. All it takes is these rats to go everywhere within the home once, and then that's it. So I could totally imagine just like that, almost overnight, having uh, multiple children die because of this plague that was happening. If the only thing, though, is you would have to stretch, again, the, the time period of almost 100 years for it. But I can see that happening more than the other theories as well. But let me know what you guys think. Please post those comments below. Always looking forward to hearing and, and seeing what you guys are, are, are noted on that. Anybody been to that street, by the way? How about that? An actual street that is 100% real and is from this famous fable. I love stuff like that. I love being able to go to an actual location and then seeing that, whatever that location was, what it inspired, and then being able to walk through it and live it, like basically right there, to, to see it person in person, live, that's something else entirely different. So if anyone has done that as well, please, I would love to, to, to for you to post your comments on that too. All right, everyone. Thanks again as always. Take care. Bye.